again and welcome back to the channel Richard here again with another unboxing video and a video review for this one I'll be reviewing the directed by Sydney Lumet collection volume one this is from imprint films in Australia so let's get this one opened because there's got a lot of films in here which I'm gonna put on the player and go through each movie and show you how they look and what special features we've got so First off, let's get this box opened. Okay, so as usual, it's a lovely presentation from Imprint Films. Um, you have this cutout on the side uh, where the lid comes up and it reveals the keep cases inside. They're like an Amari case. So, um, yeah, huge fan of uh, Sydney Lumet's work. Uh, Serpico, of course, one of my favourites, and 12 Angry Men. Um, such a good film that. Um, so for this one, we've been given The Pawnbroker, The Group, The Deadly Affair, Child's Play, The Offence and Serpico. So before we review each of the movies, let's have a look at the box and check out the back. So let's zoom in on this. So there's a quote from the man himself at the top of the box so seven disc set uh, featuring six classic films so the pawnbroker is from a 2k scan and there's a lot of special features there for me to check out we've got a bonus disc as well and then from that's from 1964 then from 66 we've got the group which again is from a 2K scan. And then we've got The Deadly Affair from 1967 from a 2K scan. On to Child's Play in 1972. Again, 2K scan. And the last two, The Offence, is a 2K scan with a load of special features. And then we've got Serpico from 1973. And that's where this volume one ends. So 11 hours, 55 minutes, all in total. We've got black and white in colour. Uh, he seemed to keep to the same sort of aspect ratio, which is 1.66 to 1, 1.78 to 1, and 1.85 to 1. We've got mono, lossless mono for this one. Uh, Serpico is DTS HD 5.1 surround. I take it that's master audio. Okay, let's zoom back out. And... Let's take a quick look at the back. It's um, there. You go. You've got Al on the back. So good quality card as well. It is really thick, thick quality. And here's your little keep cases inside. So six of them in total. Good quality. Okay, so here's the earliest film in the set. So there's a look at everything on the back we'll be checking out. Uh, we've got a tray for this one. group this is one disc they're all one disc now James Mason in this one Play. Bo Bridges, James Mason again. I'm actually intrigued to watch this one first. Mm -hmm. 
Sean Connery in the offence. And lastly, Serpico. It's a shame they couldn't get hold of the 4K for this one from Studio Canal or Kino. Um, because the last box set I had, they did have a 4K um, release of Drive in there. So that's a look at the box. I'm going to put them in the player now and we're going to check it out. Okay, so on to the pawn broker first. Let's have a look around the menus. Okay, so we've got setup. So we've got a lossless mono track, audio commentary, uh, an interview, and then we've got subtitles for the English hard of hearing. So special features. The audio commentary that we just mentioned, and then we've got the Guardian interview, which we also just mentioned. And then we've got that one, that one, and a trailer. So let's have a quick look at the first feature. Okay, so good bit rate on that. And that runs for 25 minutes. So back to the menu to the next one. And that runs for just under 12 minutes. Okay, so that's all we've got on the first disc. Let's go into the movie. Okay. Um Got some good bit rates there and a nice level of grain as well on the transfer. Uh, skip forward a few chapters. Yeah, good level of grain on that as well. So let's move on to disc two. OK, so one step further, becoming Lumit. We've got the documentary and the special features. So the first special features, we've got uh, three there and trailers. So let's go into the first one. And this runs for 19 minutes long. Okay, second one. Twelve and a half minutes. And the third and final one before we have a look at the documentary. That runs for 18 minutes. OK, so let's go into the documentary. This runs at just under an hour. And let's have a look at the bit rates on this. Looking forward to watching this documentary. Yeah, so a good level of uh, bit rate on this. It's a lossless stereo soundtrack. OK, that's everything to do with the pawnbroker. So let's get the next disc out, which is for the group. So here's the menu for this one. Let's have a look at the special features. We've just got an audio commentary and a theatrical trailer. Uh, the setup, 
It's a lossless uh, dual mono uh, soundtrack and we've got English subtitles for the hard of hearing. So let's go straight into the film and check out the bit rates. Okay, so as usual, we'll skip forward a couple of chapters. And I've seen a good level of grain here, yeah. Nice solid transfer, good colours, and a nice high bit rate. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a really good transfer on this one. Okay, that's everything on the group. The next one is The Deadly Affair. Okay, so this will be a quick one. There's just the theatrical trailer and set up on this one is just subtitles. So into the film we go and check out the bitrate and have a quick, wow, that launched into the film very, very fast. Okay, again, really good bit rates. Good solid stable picture. I'm seeing grain in the background as well. I can see it in the water. Yeah, you can see the level of grain there on that scene. Yeah, I can definitely see the stones in the... Uh, in the gravel there for the driveway. Yeah, very old uh, looking film this one. You can definitely tell by the colour scheme being used. Okay, that's everything for that one. Next up is Child's Play and not the Chucky film. So special features on this one is a commentary and we have an interview with the production designer. Uh, I will check that out. See how long that's on for. And that's for 35 minutes long. So yeah, it was worth checking out. It's a very long interview. So yeah, I look forward to, to watching that. Uh, Set up, that's what we've got for this one. So into the film, let's check out the bit rates and first impressions of how it looks. So, okay, quite a bit of grain on this one, bit of, bit of debris, de uh, debris on the right hand side, I can see, of the film stock. But that could be just the logo. That has happened before on a few films. Okay, I'm going to skip forward a chapter and just to see how it looks. Okay, so yeah, that's looking better. There's a fine layer of grain in the background. I can just see it through the bars. Yeah, more evident now, uh, just to the top left of the, uh, of the board in the school class. Good bit rates again from imprint. Yeah, good level of grain, nothing too obtrusive. It does look quite a nice solid transfer. Yeah, another winning disc. Okay, let's move on to Sean Connery and the offense. So on this one, we have some special features. There's quite a lot on this one. So let's go to the video essay first and check out how long this one runs for. Okay, so that's a good one hour long interview there. Well, uh, video essay, sorry. The interviews are next. So we've got an interview with the second assistant director. And that runs for just under eight minutes long. And then the composer. Actually need to watch this film again. It's such a good film. 
but loads of special features here. 14 minutes for that one. Uh, stage director. That's just under 16 minutes long. And then we have the art director. She's just under 13. The costume designer. She's six minutes long. And finally, the sound mixer. So a good perspective from a lot of the cast and crew here. Well, the crew. Uh, just over six minutes for that one. And let's go into the film. Again, fires up really fast. Okay. Yeah, good level of grain again. I can see it on the on the cars. Nice high bit rate. Yeah, you can see on that picture there. Good detailing in the picture. Nice colours as well. Let's skip forward a couple of chapters just to see if the bit rate keeps high. I always like to do that. Yeah, another impressive disc. Let's move on to the final one, which is Serpico. On this one, we've got Setup, which is DTS HD 5.1. Gonna check if it is master audio, I suspect it is. And we've also got a stereo track and English subtitles for the hard of hearing. So straight into the film, we'll check out the bitrate, check out the transfer. And yep, yeah, it's a DTS HD Master Audio soundtrack, which you can see there in the middle of the screen. Okay, let's move on a couple of chapters past the credits. Again, repeating myself, but it is um, quite a healthy soundtrack um, bit rate. Uh, good detail there on Al's arm, as you can see. Colours look pretty spot on. Good detail in the imagery there. Um, just looking in other parts of the screen for grain. Yeah. I don't think this is based off the Studio Canal transfer because it doesn't look as as bluey teal as that. It looks more closer to the Kino Lobo um, transfer that they used for the 4K. Soundtrack's got nice high bit rates. Yeah, another fine disc to end off the collection. So um, that concludes the video. Uh, if you've stuck to the end, thank you for watching it. If you enjoyed this video review, please give us a like and uh, good to hear from you in the comments. But once more, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon for more unboxing videos and video reviews. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.